Public charter schools are tuition-free public schools that are open to all students and held to state academic and financial accountability standards. Unlike traditional public schools, charters are run independently of school districts operating under a performance contract or charter with an authorizer. If a charter school does not carry out what is agreed to in the contract, the charter school can be closed down. Authorizers are important, ensuring charter schools fulfill their mission and their promises. Effective authorizers actively encourage applicants to open schools and maintain transparent application processes that aren't overly burdensome. Authorizers are responsible for reviewing and approving charter applications, establishing a contract with the charter school's board of directors, ensuring compliance with the contract, approving or rejecting charter renewals, and many other activities to ensure the schools are operating effectively. The most common charter school authorizers are local school districts, which account for about 90% of all authorizers. The types of authorizers allowed vary by state law, and they can be a school district, the state, a university, or another approved entity. Here is a helpful way to think of it. When authorizers approve a charter school, they are approving a certain governance model for that school. The process of chartering allows charter schools to operate independently from the school district. Through this type of governance, teachers and principals have more autonomy and flexibility to shape their classrooms and create school cultures that meet the needs of students in their communities. For more information on public charter schools, including how charters differ from other forms of choice, see other videos on the Opportunity Learning Hub.